for watching this on YouTube, hit that like sub button, it means a lot. If you follow my Twitch, it's always in the description of the video, along with my sponsorships, my donation link, and my merch, um, and, and my Discord. Um, anyways, we're getting into Amnesia Rebirth. Now, I pre-ordered this game before it came out. This game is very good. At least, if you like horror, this is the game for you, honestly. Um, especially from what we have, especially if you're only like a console player too. Because, unfortunately, I feel like uh, there are less horror games than there was in the past. Um... And it really kind of sucks that way, honestly. Like, yeah, there's good, some good horror games still that exist. But, you know, less on console, first off. On PC, there are more available because you can play older games that are horror that you can't get on um, either PS4 or PS5 or whatever, you know. And I definitely recommend this game for sure. It's uh, $30 on both PlayStation and on the Epic Games Store. Um, if you buy it on the Epic Game Store, make sure to use code REBELLION, all caps. Um, and um, before we get into the game, I would like to say thank you for all the support on even these videos. I know that these videos aren't always the best, and I try to make it the best I can possibly make it, but it doesn't always work that way. Um, anyways, back into the game. You, you kind of crash land... Um, a plane and you find out like throughout the story you find out the past and you find out what's going on at the present time and it's honestly really good and you know it's a good horror game and it has some adventure in it too kind of um and some stealth obviously because you're trying to sneak around um and there's um the horror is really good though um there are certain times where it can get annoying um the game itself not the horror um i remember um like these open areas areas i i always thought open areas in horror games ruin the the horror game now it didn't ruin it but it did kind of feel out of place like i understand why it did that it wanted to do to make you feel like you're isolated basically and you're trying to make your way to escape wherever you landed and you know all this other stuff but a lot of the game isn't isn't really desert because that's where you are isn't a desert but there are buildings there's caves that you walk through and it's honestly really great but i always felt like that open areas that you did have kind of took it away and it kind of made me like eh, you know like i like the game sure um, I definitely love the game and the game is also before we continue the game is like eight to you know eight to nine hours like it's eight minutes or eight hours and 30 minutes basically um, but if you're a completionist and you're going for platinum I guess you can get it that in 13 hours and 54 minutes now I would like to say that I didn't I was originally gonna go for the platinum but I was like oh, I would have to replay it and I I don't, I don't think there's a lot of replayability, uh, replay, yeah, replayability, um, I always thought the game was, um, like, it, it's a good game for a playthrough, sure, but to keep on playing it, maybe not so much, I would rate this game at 8 out of 10, though, um, minus 2 for, I feel like the horror could have been a little better, though that shit still scared me, so I will say it's still good, but also because of the um because of those open areas i would always like i said i always thought in any horror game there shouldn't just be an open area that you just walk through um because it kind of takes away the fact that you're that it's a horror game like i feel like it's more just an adventure game if you're going to do an open world game it's like or not open world but you know like you're exploring a, a desert basically or you're going down this trail and it's really obvious where you're supposed to go um except for in some of the horror parts in the buildings or in the caves sometimes that can get confusing but most of the time it's pretty straightforward what you're supposed to do or where you're supposed to go um there's one part that i got really confused on but then i ended up getting out just 
by using my brain. <laughs> I didn't have to look it up or anything, so it's not like you have to look something up. Um, but it's really good, and yeah, I think anybody that likes horror probably still will like the game. It's not the best horror game in the world, but it's still worth a playthrough. And that's really all. I, and that's I mean, before I get continue, that's really all I gotta say about this game. However, any amnesia game really, honestly, is really good. Um, I, I, I enjoyed the other ones. I don't have them on this account. I have it on a different account, who, which is not even my account anymore because I gave it to somebody. So, yeah. I gave it to them because we used um, their Call of Duty Activision login because I was using, or I was trying to get them Damascus because um, I was getting paid for it, right? And I thought I would be able to use that account, but we weren't able to... Um, um, uh, or we weren't able to log out of that account because it was originally on his uh, original account. But I have his account that I'll be able to play some games on too, so we'll have more walkthroughs and stuff, which is nice. It sucks that, I mean, I can just text him. I'm sure that I'll be able to game share my original games, because now he has PS Plus, so the games that I got for PS Plus on that original account, I shall have now, which is nice. Anyways, that's really all I gotta say. Thank you for watching. Hit that like and sub button. It means a lot if you can follow my Twitch. It's always in the description of the video, along with my sponsorships, my Discord, and my merch and all that. So, yeah.